everyone, it's Kelly Mo. I wanted to discuss senior living and STDs. When I moved my mother into her first assisted living facility, I was sitting with her at dinner where I overheard a conversation from one of the male residents who was walking table to table, introducing himself, but also asking female residents what they were doing for pleasure. He actually was offering up his services. I could not believe what I was hearing. I realized that regardless of the age, these residents are human and they still have libidos apparently. <laughs> they are interacting with each other on a daily basis doing various activities <laughs> that you would think are arts and crafts or going to the movies, but you never really think about the sex aspect. It was interesting that I overheard this and was shocked by it, but because I was obviously becoming more involved in learning about elder care, I started seeing reports on the news about the rise of STDs in senior living communities. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just witnessed this. I added an article below from a writer from the New York Times about this specific topic. But I just wanted to put this out there in the universe to make you aware that if you are moving your loved one into a facility, this is an issue that can arise. And it's always very interesting too, just to make note of the male-female ratio and also knowing those stories about married couples who one of them has to go into the facility and the other one is still residing at their home. The one that's in the facility actually starts forgetting their spouse. And at the facility, they become friendly and they become chummy with another resident. When the spouse that's living at home comes to visit and they see that their loved one is forgetting them, but believe that this resident that they're hanging out with is now maybe their boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, or whatever. Those I, I remember hearing stories about that years and years prior to this issue with my mom happening. And to actually witness it and see it firsthand, it's it's sad. And but it happens. It's real. Because obviously, you know, you're people are living with dementia and they're forgetting things they don't remember their spouse and they're coming into this new environment and they're meeting someone that's new and they're with them all day long and nothing may be happening sexually physically with them necessarily but they could be sitting together at the dinner table they could be sitting next to each other at an activity they could be holding hands and they may think oh this is now my new boyfriend or girlfriend so that's another thing to take into consideration that that could happen. That if your parents are being split up because one has to go into the facility and the other one is still living at home, it could happen. So don't be surprised by it. So this is just my little nugget for the day. Senior living, sex, STDs, just be on the lookout for it, okay? All right, on that note, take good care. I'll come back at you another time. All right, see ya.